Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss periods of American literature. Introduction. Periodization in American literature refers to the division of literary history into convenient segments based on significant historical events, cultural shifts, and literary developments. However, consensus among literary scholars regarding these divisions is not as pronounced as in the case of English literature. The evolution of periodization in American literature reflects changing attitudes towards inclusivity, diversity, and recognition of underrepresented voices such as those of women and ethnic minorities. Major wars, notably the Revolutionary War, the Civil War, World War I, and World War II, have been recognized as crucial markers of literary change. This video explores the different periods in American literary history, examining their significance, key authors, and dominant literary forms. The Colonial Period The Colonial Period spans from the founding of the first settlement at Jamestown in 1607 to the outbreak of the American Revolution in 1775. It is characterized by predominantly religious, practical, and historical writings. Notable writers include William Bradford, John Winthrop, and Cotton Mather. Annie Bradstreet stands out as the chief colonial poet, addressing both religious and secular themes. Phyllis Wheatley, a slave, made a significant contribution with her poetry collection, Poems on Various Subjects, 1773, becoming one of the first African-American writers in America. The Revolutionary Age The Revolutionary Age encompasses the period between the Stamp Act of 1765 and 1790, ending with the triumph of Jacksonian democracy. During this time, writers like Thomas Paine, Thomas Jefferson, and Benjamin Franklin played significant roles in shaping the political and literary landscape. The era witnessed the rise of American comedy, exemplified by Royal Tyler's The Contrast and the first American novel, The Power of Sympathy by William Hale Brown. The Early National Period the early national period extends from 1775 to 1828 and makes the emergence of a distinctively American imaginative literature. It includes the works of Washington Irving, Charles Brogdon Brown, James Fenimore Cooper, and Edgar Allan Poe. African American literature also began to flourish during this time with slave narratives and autobiographies gaining prominence. The Romantic Period The Romantic Period, spanning from 1828 to 1865, is sometimes referred to as the American Renaissance or the Age of Transcendentalism. Major writers like Ralph Waldo Emerson, Henry David Thoreau, Edgar Allan Poe, Herman Melville, and Nathaniel Hawthorne achieved prominence during this period. Walt Whitman emerged as one of America's most innovative and influential poets, and Emily Dickinson's unique voice was recognized posthumously. Conclusion Periodization in American literature has evolved over time, reflecting changing perspectives on inclusivity and diversity. From the colonial period with its religious and historical writings to the emergence of African American and women writers and the flourishing of American literature during the Romantic and modern periods, each era has left its mark on the literary landscape. The inclusion of voices from various ethnic and cultural backgrounds has enriched the American literary tradition making it a vibrant and diverse tapestry of literary expression. So this was the discussion on the periods of American literature. We will meet in the next video and discuss some other term. Until then, goodbye and thank you.